75. Were there Puerto Rican was was there a Puerto Rican B boy crew right along with the Zulu Kings at the same time? The only one that comes close is Salso. Salso, okay. Yes. Okay. Well, but then, was Salso a B boy crew back then? No, they were called a rocking crew. Got you. Even though it wasn't, you know, Salso doesn't have the name like that, but their style is a rocking style. You know, because we well, called it we called it down rock. We call it, you know, rocking on the floor. We didn't even call it down down rock. We will call it yo, we're gonna rock on the floor. That's how that's how we roll. But um in in the beginning how I got introduced to this was basically batch man you know my brother the founder of tvb and um i was i was about nine 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 1975 and oh. uh, yeah yeah so nine 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 ten you you hit it on the head though um i'm 58 now so you know we, we we're going to uh celebrate our uh 48th anniversary tvb though not my not my tvb tvg of course it's tvb because the anniversary is for tvb uh from 75 so the way it started right so this is how this started and um how i got caught up with with all the with all the craziness <laughs> and the madness. so we 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 uh I, I was born in puerto rico right so and then uh, by by the age of four my mom sent us ahead to my cousin's trace house, which, you know, rest in peace, it was Titi Sada's house, and that was in the South Bronx, Freeman Street. And uh, I saw a by TBB 183rd BX April 20th, 2011. At whoever posted that Sal Sol was the first Latino BBOY crew. Where did you get such bullshit? Sal Sol was a hustle crew. TBB was founded in 74 by Cash, Sharky and Batch as a graffiti crew. Then later on in 75 TBB became TBB Rocking Crew the biggest Latino rocking crew. Second none other to the Zulu Kings. TBB was responsible for the foundation of the dance flow rocking. After Batch broke TBB up in 79 Jimmy Lee and Jimmy D from the TBB Burnside division decided to create the Rock Steady crew in late 79 to 80. Please get your facts and history right before you post these incorrect information. My name is a by president of the Bronx Boys Rocking Crew, Global. My brother is Batch the founder of TBB Rocking Crew and godfather to the Rock Steady Crew. If you don't know you better ask. Sir Noran Rad, where did you live when the, the Disco Kids crew was formed? Kid, I was living in 1800 University Avenue on the west side of the Bronx. Sir Noran Rad, were you also born in the Bronx? Kid, yes, I was born in the Bronx. Sir Noran Rad, when was the TDK formed and who were the founders of this crew? Kid, well, the TDK crew started in 1977 and lasted up to 1979 and the founders of the crew were me and my cousin. Sir Noran Rad, your cousin's name is Joey TDK, right? Kid, yeah, Sir Noran Rad, was Joey also from the west side of the Bronx? Kid, ah uh, no, Joey was on the east side of the Bronx on Belmont Avenue.
By 1978, GSD, the original members of Sao Soul Crew had turned 18 and even older. Because of this they stopped going to the local teen events and the early hooky jams. The local guy who originally founded Sao Soul Crew named Joey, had opened up a teen club in an abandoned building he called the Dungeon. Apparently, he had purchased the whole building for $1 because of a South Bronx renovation act. This program enabled South Bronx residents to take matters into their own hands and liberate buildings and battle city intentions to demolish every building that was not slated for renovation through a special federal program. Sir Norrin Rad, so you neither you nor your cousin Joey was down with South Soul before you started TDK in 1977? Kid, nah, we wasn't down with South Soul. Sir Norrin Rad, thank you for clearing that up. So by the time TDK started in 1977 were you already breaking? Did you go down on the floor? Kid, no, we was still a disco crew. We used to dance disco, the hustle, dot all of that. Nobody was doing floor work yet but we were top rocking, yeah. Sir Norrin Rad, so you neither you nor your cousin Joey was down with Sao Soul before you started TDK in 1977? Kid, nah, we wasn't down with Sao Soul. Sir Norrin Rad, thank you for clearing that up. So by the time TDK started in 1977 were you already breaking? Did you go down on the floor? Kid, no, we was still a disco crew. We used to dance disco, the hustle, dot all of that. Nobody was doing floor work yet but we were top rocking, yeah. Sir Norrin Rad, your cousin's name is Joey TDK, right? Kid, yeah, Sir Norrin Rad, was Joey also from the west side of the Bronx? Kid, ah uh, no, Joey was on the east side of the Bronx on Belmont Avenue. Sir Norrin Rad, from what I have heard so far most of the Puerto Ricans in the Bronx did the Latin hustle and rocking before they got into breaking. Were you also doing the rock dance before you started breaking? Kid, yeah, I was heavily into that. Top rocking, we called it top rocking. I used to do a lot of that. Sir Norrin Rad, do you recall which year you started top rocking? Kid, yeah, the top rocking came in about 1975. 